split squats. So split squats allow you to stagger your stance and really concentrate on one leg at a time. Little trick, start with your weakest leg. So then the bulk of your energy is going into the leg that needs a little bit more attention, a little bit more work. We're gonna look at two variants right now. First one is just a standard split squat. So to do that, my weakest leg is my left, so I'm stepping my left foot forward, and I'm placing my right one behind me. Now I'm not trying to think like I'm on a balance beam. I want my stance wide, so it's giving me a lot of balance here. You can do this body weight. If you do, I encourage you to take your hands behind your head, reach up or cross your arms and lift the elbows, something to encourage your chest to stay lifted. You can also do this with a goblet weight or with weights down by your side, whatever feels best for you. You need a nice wide, long stance here. Staying lifted through the chest, or just dropping down so that knee almost touches the mat, and then drive right back up again. Knee in the front, go right over the toes. Heel drives down as you come up. You get a little squeeze of engagement at the very top, we lower down, and we take it right back up. Just so you can see from the side. Again, wide stance side to side, long stance front to back. Front foot is nice and even. Knee going right over the toes, chest stays lifted. Down, coming right back up. And this is very similar to a lunge, except it's stepping, instead of stepping into it, we're keeping everything static, so we're not worrying about our placement. Everything is nice and clean the entire time. Next variation of this is called a Bulgarian split squat. Exact same thing, except that your back foot is elevated. It's gonna be up on something like a bench. So for this one, this bench behind me, I'm gonna take my right foot, place it on the bench, Hardest part of this is getting set up. Right now, I'm a little too close. So I'm going to plant that foot, shift myself a little more forward, getting that front foot nice and aligned. Again, this can be done with weights by your side, a goblet weight, or body weight. And we're just lowering down as far as we can comfortably go and driving right back up. Lowering down. That knee will probably not make it to the floor. Does not matter. We're coming as low as we can while still staying nice and safe and controlled. And then driving it right back up. Split squats.